David Newcastle says since the Tunisia attack, could London face a similar attack here? Well, in terms of the terrorist threat, at the moment, the threat level is called severe. Now, what that means is that an attack is highly likely, but we've no specific intelligence about some attackers who will attack at a particular time. Is that time. the second level? The, yeah, the, well, the second highest. Yeah. So the top is um, critical. Right. So we're not there. That's usually when you know that three people named are out there trying to mm. attack a particular target. So this is only the level below that. Uh, so clearly there's a risk. Um, it's clearly one of the things that we try and stop. So we gather intelligence. We've made lots of arrests over the last year. I think we've made an arrest nearly every day around the country for terrorism. So it's a, it's a serious concern. And it's clearly one of the scenarios we planned for. People in London will have seen that we had an exercise only about now, about six weeks ago, yep. where we were practicing for clearly for this type of incident. Do you, know, do you know, on that, I was walking across Lambeth Bridge and I heard sort of gunfire and I was just about to phone LBC's newsroom to say something's going on. I thought, no, there's, a, there's an exercise going on. Yeah, well, there was a part of the exercise was down there. And one of the things, you, we've got to get the balance right. If we do these exercises in public, it can worry the public. Yeah. But equally, it can make them realise there are risks there and uh, hopefully make them think for themselves if this type of thing happened, how would they uh, respond? Are you able to tell us roughly how many attacks have been foiled, say, in the last six months? Well, um, the, probably the main indicator we can give is over the last year, we've interrupted, we think, about five uh, different operations that you know people are now in the process of being prosecuted for. So that's an increase because probably we had about one a year in previous and, and how, years. I mean, I know you can't go into detail, but how serious were these? I mean, were they ones? Were they operations that could have potentially resulted in the loss of a lot of lives? Yes, they were life-threatening things that had we not intervened, and obviously we work hand in hand with security service. I'm sure people would got hurt. And when you look at the demographics of the people that are arrested um, on suspicion of the, these crimes, are they all from a sort of younger age group, or, or is it a real mix? Uh, generally younger. Uh, we, if we, in fact, you may have seen in the northwest. We saw a young boy of only fourteen yep. uh, a few weeks ago, and that's a case that's now pending court. Um, <clears throat> so, but you are generally talking about younger people, uh, and as we've seen, we've seen lots of younger people going to Syria, uh, not less mm. so Iraq, but certainly going over to Syria, and sadly, uh, with children, which I find impossible to understand. Yeah. Well, from on police staff, people who aren't police officers, one in four. On police officers, twelve percent. On specials, uh, one in four. What's yours here? Twelve percent. What's yours um, here? I've, I've got no idea. No, I didn't think you would have. Nobody ever has. 